Well, I made it. I don't know what time it is or what time I got dropped off. Let's see. Okay, I got 8, 8.30. I think I got dropped off just after 7. So roughly an hour. And I'm at the peak. <sighs> I didn't come down this way last time, but uh, this is basically the, the end of the road here. <clears throat> and there's a hiking trail marked. Goes back down through that way, which uh, I will venture that way tomorrow. It's my south facing wall over that way. And then uh, a few year old block here. So we're growing in quite a bit, little Christmas tree stuff. I'll check this out tomorrow for a little bit. Maybe do a little calling here. Seems I'm in the middle of a, a block here. I can uh, I can see all around. This goes quite a ways down. These grassy fields here. Mm. I think that's uh, Golden Years up on the other side there. Drop my stuff off back where I figure I'm going to do camp. Um, we'll check that later, tomorrow, whatever. I didn't set tent up. Mine only takes like two seconds. It's literally two poles and it's up. Um, so, this is new from last time. Been eating the grass big time there. Almost a full shit of grass. I shaped the shit. Um, it's been nice and sunny today, so I don't know how old this is. I know it's not bare, it's coyote or something. Anyways, there's that one first sign of one bear scat from a couple days back. But fresh from where I've been here last, last week. So I'm just going to do a little walk here. Go and sit somewhere or something. And, uh, I need to find some running water. Well, uh, I'm sitting... Uh, just down around the corner, another road from camp. This is that same water source that I walked by last time. Um, I didn't notice, see, I, as I walked up, I saw something splash in the water over there. And saw something dark about four inches go down. And it looked like a fish. But then I started thinking, well, maybe it was a little salamander or something like that. But I, uh, I walked around the back side of the water here. I'm just gonna sit here till dark. Look what I see in here. These weren't here last time. So these look like little uh, goldfish or carp or something. Little feeder fish for a fish tank. Some more over there somewhere. It's hard to see in my viewfinder's cracked. I got uh, I got three over here and I got two over there. Well, that's it for uh, daylight for hunting anyways. Got back to my camp, got my tent set up. This is that junction I was at before. I rode up that way. That's the way I come up from. And then I got this way. A few uh, fresh scats last time down that way. Um, and of course you can hear the frogs behind me in the water. So, and I figured this is about the flattest ground. I want to be having a fire on these rocks because a lot of uh, pine needles and that sort of crap in the bush. So um, I don't want to be lighting up the floor of the forest here and having some problems. So I got to get this stuff on this fire here. Got a little newspaper with me. There's a bunch of wood already here. So I figure I'll make use of it. Would have been nice to have the, the um, tent a little closer. It's just on the other side of the road, but it's flatter there and grassy. Um, I'm okay over there. Anyways, I'm going to put this camera down here and get my fire going. Ciao. See you tomorrow. Well, I didn't uh, been having coffee here this morning. Waking up through my last bit in uh, the empty water bottle there. Gears all packed, 
just gonna put my fuel on the side there and load up. My tent's down and I uh, stashed it in the bush in case I decide to come back here tonight and camp. Um, that's one mission for today is uh, find a little better place to camp. I don't like being right on the main trail here so I can leave my gear up and some of my stuff back at base camp. Um, too busy through here with hikers and different stuff. Well, it's supposed to be. I phoned this only my second time, so I'm not sure. <coughs> but I don't want to leave my gear laying around. Too much money tied up in that. Um, so that water's through here. Those damn frogs kept me awake all night. But then when they would stop, that made me concerned because it usually meant there was an animal or something coming down there to drink or something was in the bush. Two or three times they stopped, just all of a sudden dead silence. It's kind of a trippy, it's totally noisy and then all of a sudden dead silence. There's hundreds of them in there. Man, was it loud. Couldn't even hardly hear the fire crackling. Had a heck of a time keeping this fire going last night too. I don't know what's with this wood. It hasn't rained for a while. It's dry. But uh, none of these bigger pieces would uh, spark up for me. Just burn the outside. I just, even these little things here, had a hell of a time keeping going. I went through so many of them. Thank God there's lots of trees all blowdowns and a few trimming here to keep the trail cleared. So, first plan grab my coffee. And I'm going to head back down here. This is where the water is, the other water that I can actually access. Uh, I'm going to fill up my two liters and my other bottles. And there's a little trail, a little skitter road off to the side. And it cuts back through here somewhere. Doesn't really show it on my GPS, but uh, you can sort of see an opening in the forest in the, on the maps. And I did see the trail as I walked by last night. So I'm going to go up there and have a peek. I haven't been up there, see where it goes. I'd like a quick access through to the other side where those big open cut blocks are. I start trying to figure out where their trails are. And then later I think I'll venture back up here. Um, on my last outing, that's where the uh, the mud puddles and I did see the uh, the bear paw print in the mud, a couple of them. So I'm going to go up and look through there. There was some trails down through the Christmas tree forest, the regrowth over there too. So, let's uh, get geared up and go for a little slow walk. Still, uh, I think it's just 6 in the morning. I've been up since about 4.30, 5 o'clock. Yeah, just turned 6. So, let's go get the early risers, see if there's any around. Well, so much for the rain holding off. Started to rain a bit. It's not bad. I'm, for the most part, I'm in the tree cover. So, this is the trail I'm talking about that I started to venture up. Sort of an old skitter road. Um, that is the road in there. And then this is just a trail, mountain bike trail or something. It's marked. There's another, uh, another trail off the side of this. I went down a ways, but. Um, it starts going down. I don't want to go down the mountain and then have to climb back up, back down to civilization. So maybe later, but for now I'm going to stay up top. And uh, kind of glad I did come here. It's not fresh, all grassy, a few days old. It hasn't been raining until today. So uh, I don't know how old that is. That could be a while. Um, there's that one, and then a real old one here, smaller one. So, shit, if this was a little more covered here, or a tree canopy, I'd camp in here. It's much nicer, way more private, and I don't have the frogs to deal with. The only thing is I'm not too keen on camping right by the bear poo, so... We'll keep walking around. Hearing lots of owls in here.
I'll come to the end of another road. This is the lower one. I'm camped up through those trees. I was hiking through the other side of that timber. Uh, end of a little cut block here. Bunch of little Christmas trees. It actually looks pretty good. I'm seeing quite a few trails um, that go off into the bush here. You can tell something has been walking through here with all the grass uh, stuff knocked down. Something fairly wide. I don't think deer usually uh, make such a mess through the trail. <coughs> I see a bunch up here too. I haven't decided if I'm going to go in yet. So I see a bunch of uh, stuff I'll push down through here. Something's pushed its way down. It would be nice to get over to that bluff inside of there on that rock and uh, sit up on top and do some calls. I may try and push my way through there in a bit here. Looks like a big ravine down below, so it might be a little tough to get through as I pushed forward and went around. But uh, it's a good vantage point. I can see see all around. Leave me a good shooting lane. A few good shooting lanes. It trails all through here. There's another one here. Tell stuff's all pushed down. I don't see any footprints or anything, but uh, the ground's pretty solid. Something definitely been through here, though. And in here, because all the ferns are standing up everywhere else. There's a little trail that cuts through around here. And then the guy pushes through here. So, I might follow his trail. Usually knows the easiest way. So I'm going to get soaking wet in here. So uh, maybe later, if it dries out, I'll push through. Let's sit and check my maps and see how I can get up over the other side of that timber line up in the back. And uh, just came across this. This tag caught my eye. I don't know if you can read it. Blasting cap. I don't know if these things are supposed to completely go off or if that's all they do. I would imagine if this is blasting a rock, this should be like disintegrated. Danger explosive. Nice. And then the wire. Well, I only see three fish today in here. I don't know how long they've been in here or if they're dying already. Well, if they get big enough, maybe it'll feed the bears later. It's getting a little brighter. I still keep getting little drizzles of rain, but uh, the weather's uh, somewhat breaking. I don't mind a little bit of wet. So, let's get up around the corner here. And uh, go have some breakfast. I haven't eaten yet. It's still only uh, 8 o'clock or something like that. 8.30. Yeah, 20 to 9. So let's go have some food and then we'll continue and walk all the way around back to where the block was, where the ferns, where you can see the push through at the end of that road, the end of that cut block. We'll be on the other side of Timberline from there. <coughs> And then off the other direction. Ciao. Okay, this is the uh, the mud puddle that uh, I saw the bear tracks in the paw prints last time, <coughs> and I see fresh ones from last time, and fresh deer. So here's some deer. It's pretty plain and obvious. Not on there. There's a few in the middle. <coughs> this 
Some are my footprints. And some aren't. The big ball of a foot and a heel. A heel back here. He's got the ball here. Big imprint. And then the toes. Little dips of claws. It's hard to see. See someone's dog. So we get uh, <clears throat> these here, and someone's also stepped in them. So I don't know. Let's see. Toes here. Claw dips at the tops. Looks like two different uh, feet, and then someone's stepped on it back here. But that's. Uh, Quite an imprint. That's about an inch deep compared to uh, the peak here. So it's got some weight. There's some back here too. You can see each toe. And then the claws where it broke in up above. And the ball. And the front pad. The heel would have been back here. So, my hand's 10 inches. So there might have been some here too, quite the imprints. So these ones are fresh from last time. <coughs> and then there's this good one. You can definitely see the, the toes here in the ball. And then it's been stepped back here. That looks like a back pod, back pad, shorter. It's only got the one at the toes and the claws. And same with this one. It's more uh, rounded. And these are long, so that's the front. Prints there. Some more there. That looks like the back pad again. Same with this. It's got a little bit of slices here from the toes, the claws. And the toes. That's a bit of one there, I think. So he's heading that direction. But then, well, yeah. So that's the best line other than the scats I've seen. And those are fresh from the last time I was up here. So I just took a long hike up the trail. Nothing any farther. Tried a couple little side goat trails, but nothing. So that's where I spent the night, was down that road. I'm gonna head back down that way. It's pretty quiet up here, really. I don't know. Maybe it's not that good. So I think this will be uh, <clears throat> camp tonight. Much nicer. Quite open. This end of a cup block. An old fire pit over there by that log. Another one up front. Bunch of dogs to sit around on. Um, and a nice, uh, there's a couple of little landings down below here, all green. So, I've been sitting here for the last hour or so. Just up on the end of that, uh, that next point, overlooking down that side. Um, and I see there's a marked trail over here at the end. And this is Valley View, so I'm going to go have a look at the Valley View, see what it shows me. I think I have a feeling it goes down, so it might not be too fun coming back anyways. Okay, let's go venture. <coughs> 